as Y or delta. Both of these are supported in motor cells. Uh, for pulse width modulation analysis, the number of parallel paths, uh, the diode voltage drop, uh, the switch voltage, the switching frequency. Uh, we'll talk a little more. Uh, uh, we'll talk in detail uh, a little later about the uh, pulse width modulation analysis in motor cell, which uh, supports both delta and uh, space vector uh, modulation. And um, uh, so, one having specified the switching frequencies and so forth um, for the coils. Um, uh, this brings us to which uh, brings us to our uh, one of motor cell induction motors most powerful features, which is its ability to automatically generate uh, all balance winding configuration for any number of slots and any number of holes. Uh, well, uh, number of slots in this case. So, if you select the automatic uh, option for um, for the um, for the uh, layout method. In uh, in uh, motor cell coil winding generator, then um, you can see here uh, one of the phases of uh, for a 24 for a 24 slot machine uh, from a list of uh, from an exhaustive list of all possible uh, balance winding configurations, one that is uh, that, uh, one that you could be interested in. Uh, in this case, I'm going to. A number of factors that uh, could potentially affect the list of uh, balance winding configurations could include the coil span, the number of layers, uh, number of coils per set, phase offset, etc., uh, as well as the um, um, sort of specifying a number of turns uh, that the user has control over to uh, to generate this uh, this list of uh, uh, balance winding configurations. Uh, it is possible to also have an animation showing the go and return sides of the uh, uh, of the uh, various uh, of the coils that define a particular uh, configuration of uh, uh, from this uh, list of balance winding configurations. Uh, we are also able to take into account uh, end effects uh, of the windings as well, uh, which can be done automatically or by using a manual method. Uh, as it is by specifying the resistance and inductance similar to the case for how end windings are uh, taken into account for the uh, rotor bars. Of course, the methodologies are uh, different for the uh, for the actual model that is used to uh, take this into account. Um, um, but uh, uh, but the point here is that we are able to uh, take the uh, end windings into account. Uh, in our calculations, it is possible to uh, model the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, windings, uh, the conductors that make up the windings, as by specifying a fill factor or the strand area or uh, the, a number of standard parameters such as such, uh, such as the American wire gauge, uh, standard wire gauge, or or other uh, or other methods, and uh, accompanying any of these uh, particular options is um, uh, is a is an appropriate list of parameters that will allow you to uh, carry out um, a modeling of the uh, of the uh, of the conductors that make up the windings uh, it is also possible to override the automatic uh, layout method in motorsoft and simply use the manual option to specify the go and return sides as well as the number of turns uh, of any particular uh, uh, of, of the windings themselves. So that essentially brings us to the uh, end of the model building process. Oh, one thing I, I forgot to mention that I should specify is that um, uh, you also have a summary of the quality, or excuse me, or of the parameters that make up the windings, such as the fill factor, conductor area, the uh, end winding resistance and inductance, angular spread, and winding factor listed. Uh, in the main view area of the of the windings page uh, to um, to see the quality of the uh, winding as well as having uh, the uh, uh, having uh, analytic results of the winding factors available to you essentially uh, with a click uh, for uh, of any given model. So that's the end of the design process.